Once upon a time, there was a rabbit, or hare, as his friends in the forest like to call him. Now, the hare loved hopping along the forest trail and talking about how fast he was. One day, as the hare was bouncing along, he zoomed past the squirrels. So long, squirrels, I'm faster than you, laughed the hare. As he continued on, he zoomed past the snakes. So long, snakes, I'm so much faster than you. As the sun was beginning to set, the hare tripped over the tortoise, who was slowly plodding along the forest trail. Tortoise, you're so slow, I thought you were a rock. You must be the slowest animal in the forest, and I am the fastest. The tortoise cautiously peeked her head out of her shell. Hare, you're always bragging about how fast you are, but did you ever think how it makes your friends feel when you call them slow? Since you're so fast, I challenge you to a race. What? <laughs> the hare laughed. Tortoise, you couldn't beat a tree stump in a race. Laugh all you want, replied the tortoise, but I'll see you tomorrow for our race. So, the next morning, the hare came early to see all the forest animals gathered to watch the race. Okay, said the tortoise, we'll race down the path, through the field, and the finish line will be at the meadow. Let's go, replied the hare as he stretched his long, strong legs. The race began and the hare took off in a dash, leaving the tortoise behind. Do you give up yet, called the hare. I won't give up, replied the tortoise. Slow and steady will win the race. So it wasn't long before the hare reached the field where he saw rows and rows of carrots. And the hare thought to himself, hmm, I woke up so early to get to the race, I didn't have time for breakfast. That tortoise is so slow, I can eat all these carrots and still win the race. So the hare decided to stop for a snack. He ate as many carrots as he could, and after a long while, the tortoise slowly came up on the hare. What took you so long, said the hare to the tortoise, as he took off in a dash, leaving the tortoise in a cloud of dust. But the tortoise didn't give up because she knew that slow and steady would win the race. It wasn't long before the hare reached the meadow. He could see all the forest animals waiting at the finish line. Just then, he felt the warm sun beating down on his tummy. And he called out to the animals, that tortoise is so slow, I could take a nap and still win the race. So, the hare decided to lay down in the soft grass. Shortly after, his eyes slipped closed and he was fast asleep. But the tortoise didn't give up. She kept plodding along the trail because she knew that slow and steady would win the race. All the animals gasped. Could the tortoise really win the race? The hare woke up from all the commotion and dashed towards the finish line. But he was too late. The tortoise won the race with one slow step over the finish line. All the animals cheered for the tortoise, but the hare cried, that's not fair. I'm the fastest animal in the forest. You are really fast, hare, but you have a little to learn about being a good friend. Good race. The hare was so surprised that the tortoise didn't brag or tease about winning. Good race, replied the hare. You didn't give up, and you were right. Slow and steady did win the race. And the hare led all the forest animals in another round of cheers for his friend Tortoise. Congratulations, friend. And the hare never teased anyone again. The end. Hi. I'm playing Ocean Adventure with my friend. Do you want to play with us? Awesome! My friend is pretending to be a sea turtle. She's very shy, so sometimes she hides behind coral reef. I wonder where she is. Turtle, are you over here? What was that? Just the sound of waves, I guess. I wonder if she's over here. Turtle! Hey! 
I see Turtle? Turtle, are you teasing me? Turtle, are you behind the seaweed? Phil! There you are. Do you want to do the turtle rhyme with me? Sure. And you can rhyme with us too. There was a little turtle. She lived in the sea. She swam in the waves. She swam past me. She snapped at a mosquito. She snapped at a flea. She snapped at a minnow. She even snapped at me. She caught the mosquito. She caught the flea. She caught the minnow. But she didn't catch me. I almost got you. Not a chance. Hey, do you want to play underwater tag? Not it. Fine. I'll be it. But I'm changing costumes so you better swim fast. So fast. Here I come. Spending a day at the beach is grand. Building a castle in the sand. Catching a wave in the salty sea. A seagull is flying over me. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. I erase a crab to its hiding place. I feel the warm sun on my face. I see starfish in sand dollars too. And a school of fish in a pool of blue. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. A day at the beach. hunt for treasures on the shore. I find one clam, and then some more. I hold a seashell up to my ear. It whispers a story I long to hear. A day at the beach with my family. A day at the beach for you and me. Splishing and splashing in the sea. Flying a kite and feeling free. A day at the beach, a day at the beach, a day at the beach. I found so many shells. I found more. No way, I found more. Aha, I definitely found the most. Look, I found 10. I found 100. No, you didn't. Did too. Count them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, I found more. You count yours too. Fine. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh. I guess we both need a little more practice counting. Yeah. Let's do the seashell rhyme. Yeah. How many seashells can you see? How many seashells? One, two, three. Nice. Now, your turn. How many seashells can you see? 
how many seashells? One, two, three. Let's go higher. Okay. How many seashells can you mix? How many seashells? Four, five, six. Yup. Now I'm going to mix it up for you. How many seashells can you mix? How many seashells? Four, five, six. You think we can go even higher? Yeah. How many seashells can you find? How many seashells? Seven, eight, nine. You got it. Now your turn. How many seashells can you find? How many seashells? Seven, eight, nine. So we have nine seashells. What if we add one more? How many seashells? I see ten. Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seashells. What should we do now? Let's pretend I'm a mermaid. And I'm your little crab friend. Yeah. Welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Johnny and his craft projects. I will be playing Papa. And I will be playing Johnny. Ha, ha, ha. Places, everyone. I'm supposed to use these beads to make bracelets for my friends. But I have a better idea. Making crafts? No, Papa. Making bracelets? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. Ugh. I'm supposed to use this glitter to make sparkly cards for my friends. But I have a better idea. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making cards? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. I'm supposed to use this paint to make portraits of my friends. But I have a better idea. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Making crafts? No, Papa. Making paintings? No, Papa. Making messes? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> A little messiness when you're making stuff is fine, but I think we should clean up a little and focus on finishing our crafts for our friends. You're right, Papa. I promise I'll clean up my mess, but first, can we make rainbow cards using this beautiful new color I made? You bet. Bye, Bye Mother Goose Club.
Let's take a nap. What? That's even more boring. Caleb, there's nothing to do. Well, there's always something to do if you use your imagination. Imagine what? Imagination, Johnny. That's right, Mary. You can do anything if you can imagine it. What? Ooh, can I try? I love to play pretend. Sure, Mary. Let's start with you. I've always dreamed of taking a nap on a big, fluffy cloud. Ooh, soft and fluffy. <laughs> Wait, we're going to take a nap? I thought this was supposed to be fun. What's more fun than a nap? Mary, what a great comfy cloud you've imagined. Johnny, how about you add to Mary's idea to make it even more fun? Hmm. Hi, Johnny. Blanket Monster, what are you doing here? I know all about imagination and I have an idea. Okay, what is it? Shh, it's a secret. Okay, I know how we can make this cloud better. How about we add some relaxing noises? Great idea. <laughs> what kind of noises? Maybe some ocean waves. Wow, mm. this is nice. And then, some really loud seagulls! Johnny, Johnny? Gah, gah. Yes, Caleb? Causing trouble? No, Caleb. Telling lies? No, Caleb. No more seagulls. Ha, ha, ha? You ruined my cloud. Your cloud was boring. I made it better. Hey, let's try, let's try one more time. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Mary, I think your cloud idea was great. What else can we do on your club? Ooh, I know. How about we dance? Johnny, come on, let's go. <laughs> Johnny, it's your turn. What else can we do on our club? Macaroni on our cloud? Of course. We can do anything you can imagine. Okay then. Let's have some yummy macaroni. Raining from the sky! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Johnny! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Caleb? Telling lies? No, Caleb. Causing trouble? No, Caleb. No more macaroni. Ha, ha, ha? <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. Mary, hang in there. Let's try one more time, okay? Come on. <sighs> Mary, so the both of you like different things. Mary, you like to relax. And Johnny, you like to be silly. That's why we can't play together. Actually, that's why you have to use your imagination. How? Mary, what's the best time to take a nap? When you're tired? Exactly. And Johnny, what gets you all tired out? Playing, jumping around, running. <laughs> exactly, all those things. So first we can have fun Johnny's way, and then we'll have time to have fun Mary's way. Come on, guys. <laughs> what about some seagulls? Seagulls, please. <laughs> Macaroni. Macaroni, too.
Me too. Me too. Does that mean it's my turn? Yeah, Mary, go ahead. Ocean. Mmm, perfect. I guess I could use a little rest. <sighs> Me too. So I'm gonna let these guys sleep. Thanks for pretending with us. Bye. There's your diamond necklace. Cool! What about sunglasses? You look super fancy. Thanks. What do you want to dress up as? Hmm. Ooh, I know. Want to play Country Mouse and City Mouse? Cool, yeah! Here's my nice green meadow. Nothing but peace and quiet around here. I'm bored. And here's my big fancy city house. I need a vacation from all this excitement. I'll go visit my cousin in the country. The suitcase is perfect. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. I'm walking to the country. Walk, walk, walk. You live far. Cousin, is that you? All the way from the big city. It's so good to see you. So, what do you do in the country? Uh, well, we could play in the grass. Okay. We could watch the stars. Uh, okay. We could look for food. Sometimes I find a nut or berries. Or we could eat what I brought. I've never seen so much food. This is nothing. The giants that live in my house leave stuff like this all over the place. Whoa. So. What do you do in the city? Well, I guess you could say we count the stars too, but in the city, there are big, shiny, flashy lights in every color of the rainbow. Whoa. Yeah, it's mostly going from one adventure to the other. The city sounds amazing. I wish I could visit you. Okay, let's go. We're, We're walking, walking to, to the city. city. Walk, walk, walk. We're walking to the city. Walk, walk, walk. Welcome to my mansion. Looks like the giants left quite the feast. This is awesome. We need a city cat. Oh, right. Uh... I got it. You eat. OK. Mmm. Tasty. That's enough adventure for me, thanks. I miss the nice, quiet country. Oh, well, come visit any time. You too. And so, from then on, the country mouse was grateful for his peaceful life in the country. And the city mouse was grateful for a crazy life in the city. And, and they, they both, both lived happily ever, ever after. So, what should we dress up as next? I think I saw some pig ears back there. Cool. Da 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 Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, my friend and I will be performing the tale of Jack and Jill. I will be Jill. And I will be Jack. Places, everybody. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Ugh. 
Oh no! Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Ow! Uh, ow! That didn't go so well, huh, Jack? Nope. Up Jack got and home did trot as fast as he could caper. And he went to bed to mend his head with vinegar and brown paper. Wait, vinegar? Yeah. Why? It smells awful. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Jill came in and she did grin to see Jack's paper plaster. She jumped for joy to see her boy all healed from his disaster. Thanks, Jill, it worked. But we still haven't gotten our pail of water. Hmm. I think we should build a staircase up the hill so we don't slip while we carry the heavy pail. That's a great idea. With stones and sticks and mud and bricks, they built with careful timing. Steps to guide them up the side the hill that they were climbing. What do you think, Jack? Looks pretty sturdy to me. Only one way to find out. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. The steps were good, and so they could live happily ever after. We did it, Jill. We make a pretty good team, Jack. Thanks for playing with us. You can act out your own Jack and Jill show at home, too. Bye, Bye Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club. Are you baking cookies? Yes! For after dinner. But I'm hungry now. Well, if you're hungry, you can have an apple. Cookies are for dessert. Okay. No sweets until dinner. Trash cans don't eat dinner. In your mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Sugar is not a healthy snack. Wait. 
too loud. I'm as quiet as a mouse. Now you're gonna get in trouble. Mary, Mary! Yes, Papa? Eating chocolate? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ah, ah, ah. Chocolate is not a healthy snack. Am I missing a cookie? Mary, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating cookies? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouths. Uh... Johnny, did you want a snack before dinner? Yes. Which do you think would be a better snack? Uh... Thanks, Papa. They taste even better now after waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we'll be performing the story of Lazy Mary. I will be playing the role of Lazy Mary. Places, everybody! Again, Lazy Mary sleeps all the time and never comes out to play. We have to find a way to wake her up. I know, what if I try singing really loudly? Maybe I'll make enough noise and she'll wake up. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy didn't work. Maybe I'm not being loud enough. I know. What's up? I can't get Lazy Mary to wake up. Maybe if we both sing really loudly, she'll wake up. Let's try it. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up today? No, my friends, I won't get up. I won't get up. I won't get up. No, my friends, I won't get up. I won't get up today. Don't give up yet. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Trying to wake up Lazy Mary. No luck, huh? No. Come on. Surely with the three of us, we'll be able to make enough noise to get Lazy Mary up. We have to try. 
Okay. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up today? We have to sing even louder. Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up? Will you get up? Lazy Mary, will you get up? Will you get up today? Wow, guys. That was really loud. We really want you to play with us. Okay, friends, I will get up. I will get up. I will get up. Okay, friends, I will get up. I will get up today. Finally! Yay! I'm so happy. Thanks for singing with us. Bye, Bye Mother Goose, Goose Club. Club! Welcome to Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. I'm Johnny, and this is Papa. Today we're baking a cake. Will you help us? Great! Oops, I forgot eggs. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. Okay, Papa. Mm. Mm. I'm back. Were you eating the sprinkles? Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating sprinkles? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Hmm, open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm, okay, Johnny, I believe you're telling the truth. Of course, Papa. Hmm. Oops, I forgot flour. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. Okay, Papa. Mm -hmm. I'm back! Hey, were you eating the frosting? Johnny Johnny? Yes, Papa. Eating frosting? No, Papa. Telling lies? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Mm, okay, Johnny, I believe you're telling the truth. Of course, Papa. Hmm. Oops, I forgot milk. I'll be right back. Don't touch any of the ingredients while I'm gone. Okay, Papa. <laughs> couldn't wait until the cake was finished to enjoy his treat. Sorry, Papa. Hopefully the snake surprise will teach you to be patient until the cake is ready. You got me, Papa. Now where did I put those chocolate chips? Maybe you can go find them for me. You got it, Papa. My Mother Goose Club. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, we're performing Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Let's meet our players. I'm Katie, and I'll be playing Johnny. I'm Luke, and I'll be playing Johnny too. And I'm Arthur, and I'll be playing Papa. Ready, set, Let's go! Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Papa? Eating sugar? No, Papa. Telling lie? No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha.
Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating chocolate. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha ha ha. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating ice cream. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha ha ha. You kids are really sneaky. I think you need a break from sweets for a little while. Oh, the Papa. I just don't want you to get a tummy ache. Eating lots of sugary sweets can get you really sick. Okay. We're sorry we lied. Hey, maybe we should brush our teeth now. The dentist told me that eating too much sugar can give our teeth cavities. Ew, I don't want to have holes in my teeth. Good idea, but maybe we should finish that ice cream first. We don't want it to melt and go to waste, do we? Hooray! Thanks for joining us, Mother Goose Club. You can put on your own Johnny Johnny Yes Papa plays at home. Bye! <laughs> Surprise! Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater! Today, we will be performing the epic tale of the brave knight and of the evil trolls. I am obviously the brave knight. And we are the evil trolls who get to capture the knight on the bridge and steal all of his armor. Places, everybody! I must cross this bridge to continue on my epic quest. Not if we have anything to say about it. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Hmm, a dangerous bridge indeed. I must be brave. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my dear knight. Ah, let me go! Ah, ah let, let me go! Ah, not ah. until you give us all of your <laughs> armor. But I'm on an epic quest. I need my armor. Then looks like you'll stay trapped forever. <laughs> 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 and too brave for us. We just wanted to be knights too. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? A knight must be strong and brave, but they also must be kind and fair. Why don't I share my armor with you? So we can all be knights. Yes, yes please. please. Look at us. We're brave, strong knights. You'll have to behave like a knight which means no more trapping people on bridges, okay? okay? Okay. Good luck on your epic quest. Thanks. Bye, Bye Mother, Mother Goose, Goose Club. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Ho, 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 hello, and welcome to the North Pole. We're decorating for Christmas. That's right, and I believe we have someone special here to assist us. Hello! <laughs> hello, Johnny. Have you been good this year? Well... When children are naughty, 
Sometimes, Santa gives them a special chance to show that they can be good. Have you been naughty, Johnny? Well... <laughs> Let's put Johnny to work. Here, hang these on the tree. Okay. Wow, these sure are pretty. And they smell pretty yummy. Just one little lick. Johnny, Johnny! Yes, Santa? Eating candy? No, Santa. <laughs> Telling lies? No, Santa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. You ate our Christmas decorations? Let's give Johnny a second chance. I think our tree needs a garland. Right. Finish stringing the popcorn. Mmm, popcorn. Just a bite. Mm. Johnny, Johnny! Yes, Santa? Eating popcorn? No, Santa. Telling lies? No, Santa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> I think this is enough. Should I get the naughty list? Now, now. That popcorn does smell delicious. Johnny, how about you help us put the presents under the tree? No problem! <gasps> For me? Now, just one little peek. Johnny, Johnny? Yes, Santa? Opening presents? No, Santa. Telling lies? No, Santa. Then what's behind your back? <sighs> I didn't see anything. I promise. It's just so hard to wait for Christmas. <laughs> I know. And I have the hardest time waiting until Christmas. Really? Yes. But learning to wait... And following rules... And following rules is important. I guess I need to get better on waiting and following the rules. Johnny, how about I give you some more practice? Okay. If you can wait until Christmas morning to open your present, how about I make sure that there are more presents under the tree? <gasps> Thanks, Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Johnny, and Merry Christmas! And Merry Christmas to you all! Oh, oh, oh. Merry, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, 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 oh. Hi! Welcome to Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. I'll be playing Papa. And I'll be playing Johnny. Want to help us get messy? We put some paper down and we're going to be very careful with the paint. On your mark, get set, paint! Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Mixing colors. Yes, Papa. Blue and yellow? Yes, Papa. What does that make? Green, Papa! That's right! Blue and yellow make green. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Mixing colors? Yes, Papa. Blue and red? Yes, Papa. What does that make? Papa, that's right. Red and blue make purple. <gasps> Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Mixing colors. Yes, Papa. Yellow and red. Yes, Papa. What does that make? Orange, 
orange, Papa. That's right. Yellow and red make orange. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Mixing colors. Yes, Papa. Red and white. Yes, Papa. What does that make? Pink, Papa! That's right! Red and white make pink! Should we do one more color? Yeah! Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Mixing colors. Yes, Papa. Red, yellow, blue, and white. Yes, Papa. What does that make? Red, yellow, blue, and white make gray. <gasps> Thanks for mixing colors with us. See you next time. Red and blue make purple. You're just like. <laughs> oh no! Don't get on my Jordans. <laughs> you got bird poop on my sneakers. Oh yeah, no, he didn't get any on. Okay, good. No, just on my sneakers. Cause these are. 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Are you behind the costumes? No. Okay. Are you behind the bookshelf? Boom! Ah! You scared me. Sorry. Hey, do you want to play Chicken Little? Sure, as long as I get to be the fox. All right. Here you go, little guy. I'll get an acorn. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just walking around the farm. I'm a big, tall tree. Walk under me. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just hanging out. My acorn. Ah! My head! Wait, what hit my head? I don't know. It must have been the sky? Help! Help! The sky is falling! Help! You make a great chicken. Now I'm gonna be the head. Oh no, 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 no. Help! Help! The sky is falling! Chicken Little! What's wrong? Henny Penny, Henny Penny, a piece of the sky fell and hit me on the head. And now, the rest of the sky will probably fall and smush us all. The sky is falling? The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! Help, help! Now I'll be the duck. The sky is Penny falling. Penny, what in the world is going on? Oh, Ducky Lucky, the sky! The sky is falling and it's gonna smush us all! Oh no, the sky is falling? The sky is falling! Help! 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 The sky's falling! Now I'll be the fox. No, 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 no. Help! The sky is falling! Oh, Ducky Lucky! What's the problem? Oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling and it's gonna crush us all. And you're sure why? Well, Henny Penny told me and Chicken Little told her. And you're telling me, so it must be true. Come, we better take cover. Here, quick, come to my den. Thank you, Foxy. 
Yes, this feels much safer. And what about a little duck dinner? A what? Ah! Ducky Lucky ran away from the tricky fox. And Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky learn that whenever they're scared, just to take a deep breath and be calm instead. And, and they, they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. Okay, my turn to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello and welcome to the Mother Goose Club Dress Up Theater. Today, I was supposed to perform a Johnny Johnny rhyme for you. But Johnny has been sound asleep all day. I can't wake him up. Uh, I know a song that might wake him up. It's called, Are You Sleeping? Oh, but just a song won't be enough to do it. I know. I can ring this bell too. That has to wake Johnny up. Will you sing with me? I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Let's do it. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Ha, ha, ha. It didn't work. He's out like a light. I've got to sing and ring my bell even louder this time. Will you help me try again? Thanks. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Morning bows are ringing, morning bows are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. He is sound asleep. Maybe if I ring the bell the whole time I'm singing, it'll wake him up. Sing with me. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Johnny, 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 Johnny. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Papa, why are you making so much noise? <sighs> Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Sleeping late? No, Papa. Ignoring the bell? No, Papa. <sighs> Telling lies? Ha, ha, ha. <sighs> well, at least you're awake now. Ready to do our performance? Yes! from the cookie jar. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa? Eating cookies? No, Papa. Telling lies? Ha, ha, ha. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I got okay. this. Alright, and that goes there, and this goes there. Done! I win. I'm so fast, I'm like lightning. Yes! I Slow down. <laughs> you know what game I think we should play next? What? The tortoise and the hare? Look, I'm sorry for bragging. Have 
you ever seen anyone faster than me? I don't think so. Hi, hair. Tortoise? Is that you? You are so slow, I thought you were a rock. How do you think your friends feel when you say they're slow? You always brag about how fast you are. I challenge you to a race. Are you joking? We'll race around the field to the finish line. We need a finish line. On it. Ta-da! Nice. I'll just plant these in the field. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, wow, I'm fast. Hey, Tortoise, did you give up yet? Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> You're so slow, I could eat all of this food and still win. Mm, looks quite delicious. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> hey, Tortoise, you're so slow, I can take a nap and still win. All that food made me quite sleepy. Just one quick nap. I told you slow and steady would win the race. What? Huh? No! What? That's not fair! You might be fast, but you have a lot to learn about being a good friend. Good race. You know, he never gave up. Good race, my friend. And from then on, the tortoise and the hare became very best friends. We should have a contest to see who can jump the highest. How about we just jump together? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once I caught a fish alive. Huh? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? That little finger on my right. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let her go? Because I bit his finger so. And which finger did you bite? That little finger on the right. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.